Greetings everyone. In uh, this video, I wanted to talk about the uh, house that I've been building. I mentioned in the last one that I was working on a farmhouse for the layout. So uh, I wanted to do this video about what I've been doing with it and uh, how I've been uh, detailing it. I started out with the uh, Rick's Products Maxwell Avenue home, this kit. Uh, fairly simple kit, uh, not much to it, uh, fairly easy to put together. A couple of things that I did differently uh, was instead of the uh, painting the, the porch gray to simulate concrete, I went with a kind of a weathered wood look. I used a pattern, a weathered wood pattern printed on paper and then glued that to the uh, decking and to the steps to simulate a wood deck. Uh, looks somewhat um, somewhat liquid, maybe a little bit color, more colorful than I would have liked, but I think from a distance it, uh, it kind of works. And uh, added shutters that weren't on the original uh, design. Other than that, from the exterior, at least so far, there aren't too many other differences. It's not completely not fully glued together yet, um, mainly because I'm still working on the interior. But uh, for the outside, at least for now, uh, that's as far as I got. Uh, will be some minor additional details that might come at a later point in time. And I'll uh, keep that updated as I go along. On the interior of the house, I uh, started putting, putting together an interior, basically some uh, poster board um, craft board, whatever you call this, uh, foam board, I guess. Uh, I used that to make the the walls on the interior. Uh, right now they're kind of loosely in there. But the basic design of the house is a bedroom, oops, sorry, bedroom over here, second bedroom right there, uh, kitchen in this area right there, and this will be a living room. Uh, this uh, extension right here is to uh, uh, simulate a bathroom, which from the hallway you could enter the bedrooms, the bathroom, or the living room. One thing that I will be doing is adding doors. I'm using a, a Tucci group or Taiki group, whatever, whatever you call them, doors, interior doors. So uh, kind of painted them to uh, simulate wood. And uh, on the interior, which of course is going to be removable, working. Uh, basically, where the doors are going to go, uh, making cutouts in the foam board, in the shape of a door to make sure that it uh, goes in nice and flush into that spot. So it's nice and flush in there. So there will be doors in each of the bedrooms as well as here in the living room. Uh, the hallway you can't really see since it's uh, behind the door of the house right there so um, no need to detail the hallway also one other thing that I was doing in the interior is adding a fireplace I used some leftover brick pieces uh, brick pattern pieces uh, to um, just refocus to simulate uh, the wood fireplace haven't added the hearth yet the opening so that will come come later the foam board was uh, painted flat white um, to uh, yes, keep it from a little less glaring and also to uh, blend the corners and the joints a little bit better. And likewise for the walls inside the house, obviously it will be lighted um, to make sure that light does not bleed through. I'm using this uh, black craft paper. Uh, in a sh that I uh, made the cutouts for all the windows. Yes. Uh, where does it start? It starts right here. So basically, it'll go in like that all around the house. And uh, the paper is um, light blocking, so light will not be able to penetrate it. 
So that will keep it uh, nice and uh, bright inside the house while keeping the light from uh, bleeding through the walls, through the uh, styrene walls. Uh, the floor is removable as well. It's basically another piece of foam board that um, the top, the walls will be glued on top of uh, once, once they're complete, once the design is finalized. Also on the floor, I'll be able to put carpeting, simulate uh, hardwood floors, whatever else I choose to do. So um, that has not been completed yet. On the, uh, for, or rather for the lighting, I'm using these LED strips. These are just your regular um, LED strips, 12 volt strips. Uh, the one nice thing about this is that they do, um, they come in uh, groups of three. Um, basically, well, it's, it's a long strip on a, on a reel, but you can peel it off. Uh, they're adhesive on the back and you can cut them into groups of three and then join them together if needed. So what I'll probably end up doing is splitting it up. So I have uh, maybe three this way and another three this way throughout the interior. So I have uh, sufficient light for both the bedrooms as well as the living room and the kitchen. Perhaps even uh, set it up so that I can control them independently. There is a nice area here in the hallway that is not visible, which I can use to run the wires through to keep the interior nice and neat and clean. So that's about it as far as the uh, the house so far, the state of it. Um, the roof, the exterior is pretty much done, as I said. Of course, the uh, I made sure that the chimney was directly above the fireplace, so they do match up, which is nice. And uh, that's about it for this update. I'll keep working on this on this house. It's uh, it's small, not a whole lot of space in it, but uh, it's nice and cozy. It's a farmhouse. It's at least meant to be a farmhouse. It was, I'm sure, built many many years ago. So not a lot of uh, square, not much square footage, but it's uh, it's comfortable. The farmer likes it. Anyway, that's about it for this update. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, look forward to your comments. And uh, I will see everyone in the next video. So long.